It's another unveiling, this time a beautiful home in Sassoon City that is all coming up next on Flipping in Heels. Welcome back to Flipping in Heels. I am your host, Olivia Barrett, here with my beautiful partner, Becky Larson. Uh, this is a finished, we get to see the finished product today of a project that uh, Becky has been working on for the last how many months? Since March. So, Since March. What, nine months? Nine months. Um, it was a pretty simple lipstick job. We didn't do anything structural to this house, no, right? No, okay. it was just um, all cosmetic. All cosmetic. Yeah. And bought in March um, on the market? Off market. Off market, which is great. But it did have renters in it when you originally got it, yes. which probably prolonged your time frame. Yes, it took me long, about four or five months to get the people out. Okay. Wow, four or five months, that's a long time. Yes, and then I had to pay them to leave. Oh, okay. <laughs> You can pay me to leave. I'll yeah. <laughs> and they left a lot of stuff, so the house is full of garbage. So another, uh, you got this property for a good price because you were willing to take on the tenants being in place, knowing that it was going to be a kind of hostile situation. Correct. Correct. Great. And how much did you pay for the house? Three hundred and fourteen thousand. Oh, okay. How much did you put into it? Forty-two thousand. Forty-two thousand. And how much are you reselling it for? Four hundred and twenty-nine thousand. Very nice. So profit that you stand to make? Um, with closing costs and holding costs, about thirty-five thousand. That's great. Yeah. And uh, you just put it on the market uh, this last week, and you have an offer in I hand. I already have an offer. In That's hand. great. Awesome. All right. Well, let's take a look at the property. We said nothing structural, so no walls moved, but roof. Uh, no, didn't need a roof. Okay. Um, we. Um, refurbished the HVAC, so there's a new condenser and, and some work was done there. Um, windows? No windows. It so the windows, windows were already dual pane yeah. and the roof was already this great roof. Yes. So those are two huge pluses that you don't have to account those for in your two repairs. big ticket items that That's we awesome. didn't have to worry about. Okay, but you still did a ton of work, so let's go take a look at what you did do. Sounds good. All right. Obviously new door. New door. New door. <laughs> <laughs> So family room, obviously here, um, which I noticed you didn't blow through this wall, which we do a lot. Was there a reason this one wasn't opened up? Well, yeah, we started talking about it and it was so costly to, um, to take that wall out. After more discussion, um, we decided that a lot of people want two living areas. So you have a spot for the kids to watch TV and the adults to entertain um, without the kids. So yeah. that's why we decided to go ahead and leave it, leave the wall in. I mean, and I think you, you still have the nice open concept. Oh yeah, you still have the open concept to the kitchen too. That's right. a great idea. So in here, paint, texture. We had to take down the popcorn ceilings and um, retexture. And that was interesting because for the, it's never happened before, but took the popcorn down, retextured, and they painted and the texture started falling off of the ceiling. <laughs> so we don't That's know bizarre. what caused that. It's never huh. happened before, but huh. this room has been painted three times. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> and then we uh, painted the uh, fireplace and put the nice mantle on it. And, That's nice. Uh, yeah. And new flooring in here. New flooring. And I That's think it good. turned out beautiful. And we have a nice little nook area here, which could be another dining area. Could but be a formal dining area. So we have staged it as a you know desk area here just because we have plenty of other space for dining, two other spaces in fact. So um, we just thought it would be a nice look to have this be a, a little office area. It's very nice. It could go either way. I put the nice dining uh, room light there, which I love. I love it. Yeah. All right. So let's go check out the kitchen. Sounds good. All right. You really did an amazing job in this kitchen. The natural light is beautiful. I love the cover colors you chose and the little iron features on the pendant light and on the hardware is just awesome. 
Thank you. Really I, I really nice. love it. I think it turned out beautiful. Yeah. And you know what worked out perfectly is look how when you look out into the yard from the dining area, you see the beautiful the beautiful flowers. red flowers. Yes. yes. That's your pop of color out My there. My little pop of color. That's great. <laughs> yeah, I love I, these lights too. Where'd you get these from? I got these. Uh, these were accidental find in Kirkland's. Oh. Yes. We've never been there before. I just I think they have an I, outlet store too in Vacaville, don't they? I went, yes. And I went looking for mirrors for this house and I found these lights. I and love, I love them. them. Love them. And you got a nice dining area here. You did tile in the kitchen area, which is a great change of pace here and good for a moist area. Well, normally I like the look of bringing the laminate all through the living area. But I went with the tile on this one because the kitchen and the dining nook was so big mm -hmm. and I decided that it would flow nicely, so. I love all the windows. And then you're open up here to your living room, which is great. So you still have that open concept, but separate family room here. Nice slider to the backyard. Nice large slider, right? Yeah, huge slider. And you kept it very easy to maintain back here? Well, it was part of uh, keeping on budget. Um, you know, I could have thrown some more sod back there, but I just was trying to keep on budget. And I decided- We'll call it drought tolerant. That sounds good. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the marketing strategy. Easy, low maintenance. It's yeah. easy, low maintenance. Yeah. Nice. All right, let's go check out the bedroom. Sounds good. So since we're passing the guest bathroom, let's talk about what you did in here. Well, I already had this nice vanity and countertop. And so I decided- Oh, this is original? This was in the house that I Oh, wow. It. And so I decided to keep it. We put a new faucet, a new mirror, a new light. And then um, in the bathtub, oh, we decided I to keep it the clean design. and white. We just did subway tile. But you staggered it, which is that was, really cool. That was Joe's idea. Isn't that That's great? That's really neat. Is this a new tub or did you restore it? The new tub. New tub. Yeah. Nice. And you went all the way up to the ceiling with it. I really nice. like it. We've never done that design before. I know. It looks cool, doesn't it? Really cool. That was Joe's creative. Input. Did a nice little bronze schluter on the edge to edge it out. Yeah. Very nice. Love it. You turned out nice. So this is the gas bathroom. Oh, and you matched the flooring, but did a porcelain a tile. tile? Yeah. Oh, really neat. Good job. Yeah. Little transition piece. Okay. Let's go check out the master. Oh, I love the closet. It's nice I know, and big. Isn't that great. And I love how my little master bath turned out. Oh, so that's great. Cute. No, and look, I did something different with these lantern, little lantern tiles. Oh, right? I love it. Isn't that pretty? That's really pretty. Yeah. And, and a bigger subway tile on this one yes. surrounding it, which yes. is a great saver of money to use just bigger ones when you have an accent tile going down. Right, less labor. Mm -hmm. um, but yes, I love the way this turned out. And then of course, Joe always calls me and says, do we do the, um, the rain shower doors or what kind of glass? And yeah. I always do clear glass. So you clear can glass. See the tile. Yeah. I'm pretty. Very nice. Little vanity on this one, but still nice. Kind of gives the same look as yeah. the kitchen. Yeah, and I had, it was awkward because you got the window there. Oh yeah. Um, but I decided somebody could put a little shelf here for towels mm -hmm. and whatnot. So I, I think it turned out cute. I think it's great. Very nice. And the same porcelain tile in here. Same tile that's in the hall. Very nice. All right, so you to save money, I see you kept the popcorn in here. We kept the popcorn in the bedroom. Okay. It was a tight budget on this one. And at the time when we were working on it, we held it for so long. But when we started working on it, the comparable sales were at like 415. Okay. And so we were really trying to keep on budget. So we did some things like we normally would have replaced that slider, but it was in good shape and mm -hmm. we cleaned it up. We saved probably $1,500 there. Um, and then not taking the popcorn down in the bedrooms. I don't, you know, we painted it and I don't think it's the living areas that are, seem to be more important for yeah, people. I agree. So that saved us some money. 
Great. So that's what we did. All and right. it worked out great because now the comps are higher. Yeah. That's <laughs> great. I think you did a fabulous job. Thank you. So in closing, this was a great project. It had some unknowns, uh, one of the biggest being the timing of this one with uh, having to get the renters out of the property. Did you actually have to evict? Or you offered money? No, I, I paid them the lease. Okay. <laughs> Gave them cash. <laughs> cash is king. <laughs> also, your fabulous contractor, Joe, had a baby right at the end of uh, the project, which delayed it by a little bit. So we kept trying to come in and stage and it kept being pushed out by like a week or two. So we decided that it was okay for Joe to have a week it was off okay. with yeah. his baby. <laughs> so cute, cutest little baby. Yes. So he did such a great job on this project and we we're very thankful for him. He did and a lot of late, because of the baby, he was trying to make up time and he spent a lot of late nights over here. So I'm really appreciative of that. That's great, but overall, fantastic project. It looks really good. You have one offer so far. Hopefully you'll get more and be able to drive up that price. So we'll give you an update on the next episode, but thank you so much for watching this episode of Flipping in Heels. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and share, and we will see you next week.